Hi Jenny, good morning. How are you? Good, thank you Neil. Looking forward to painting. First of all, you need to take your ruler and your pencil and draw an horizon line on your paper, in the middle of your paper. Can you do that? Yeah. Does it need to be exactly in the middle, Neil? No, no, roughly, roughly middle will be fine. Taking a fairly large brush, if you've got a flat brush, great. If not, a round brush will be fine. I've got um, a flat one, it's not very large. Yeah, but that's fine. Dip into clean water and just wet the top half of your paper all the way down to the line that you've just read, you've just drawn. Right, taking your first colour, which is blue, and I've laid them out in the colours that we're going to be using, so we've got blue, red and yellow, okay? Yeah. Take, your, take your brush and dip it into your blue, give it a bit of a stir first because it's been stood a little bit, and just add a little bit of blue to the top of the paper, and just right across the paper, if you need to dip it in the water to get a bit more spread, just do that. If you see what I'm doing, just push it around. Wash your brush off when you've done that. Yeah. And go for the next colour, which is your red. Again, give it a bit of a stir before you add it, just to make sure it's mixed. And then again, going across the page, mixing those colours in, letting them spread. Just work that paint in, wash your brush off, and go for the next colour. And then, using the yellow, go and again push those colours together, and then using your up to the horizon line with your yellow. And just gently go across the page. There. Now, have you managed to do that? Yeah, I think I need a tiny bit more yellow. Just uh, it, You don't touch the horizon line, no, do you, no, Neil? Can I, just above it, if you can. Just a, a tiny white gap is what we're looking to get eventually. Okay? Well, yeah. Now, while the paper's still wet, if you've got a suitable pen top, something like this, a round top pen. Yeah. Yeah. Take your bit of tissue. Will the top of my That'll paint be tube fine. Do? Yeah, that should be fine. Take your take that, make wrap your pen into it. And then, yeah. just where you think you want the sun, while it's still wet, you can just press on and lift off. Simple as that. Now, while that's drying, we're going to do the bottom half. So we're going to repeat the process now. Okay, so you Lovely. can turn the paper around if you wish. So if it's easier for you. And we're going to do the same on this half. Okay. What you're trying to do is mirror both sides so they look yeah. very similar. They're not going to be perfect. Bear in mind that when when you're looking at water, water tends to be darker. So 
that image, what you're looking at, that, that half should be a little bit darker. Oh, okay. Okay, because the reflection off water will do that. And then leaving a nice line between the two. We now leave that to dry. So while that's drying, I want you to take your paint palette. Yeah. Yeah. And I want you to, if you've got a spur well, take a little bit of the blue and put it into the well. Yeah. Forget yeah. the one that you've made, leave that for the minute. Then take a little bit of the red and add that to the blue and you're going to get a lovely dark purple. Now you can make that, don't make it too wet, you want to make it fairly dry, it sounds silly, but you you want to make that as dry as you can. Yeah. So that you're not weakening. The more water you add to the paint, the thinner the paint will be. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to make that quite a strong colour, because we want to contrast now. So we've got this lovely deep shade now. Can you see yeah. that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Now what we're going to do with that, we're going to paint our mountains or our hillside or whatever you want to call it. It's entirely up to you. We'll take that colour now and I'm going to draw along the top half that we've just painted where the sun is. Ready? Am I better using a um, round brush now, Neil? Yeah, if you've got a round brush, that'd be perfect. Yes, yeah, sorry. Lovely. Yeah, no, it's don't okay. Don't leave your brush. Please don't leave your brush in the water. You'll loosen the head. Oh. Wash it off and put it to one side. Perfect. Okay. Okay, now you've got that colour, now you're going to draw, starting at the bottom of the horizon line, mm -hmm. just run your brush along and then run it so you just get the tip of your brush and stop just before your sun, like so. Okay, now take the same colour and work your brush up and then just give it a little bit of a shape as if you've got a mountain or a hillside or something there and run it down to the point there and then fill that in with the rest of the colour. And then do the same on the other side, starting from roughly the centre of where you want the sun to be. Touch the paper and then draw your brush back along that line, right to the end. So you've got a lovely line there, like so. And then we're just going to repeat this process, starting your brush just a little bit away from the tip and then work that in. Just yep. Now, for you, you can turn the paper around if you wish, okay? And you're going to do it the same again on the other side. So what you're going to do now is mirror what you've done there. That's so, so we're going to start again, draw the line along the bottom, leaving that white gap if we can. And because you're in water, if you drag your brush on that, what you're now doing, if you drag mm -hmm. your brush down, down from the line, it will actually give it more of a, as if it's reflecting in the water and it's diffusing. Yeah, yeah. yeah do you see that? Yeah, that's clever. And we do the same on the other side and mirror what you're doing. And again, just drag in the brush from the line down and it should just diffuse to give it a sense of it's in water. And the reflection will always be slightly bigger than what it's reflecting. I can't believe mine actually looks like um It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. I want you to take some blue and some yellow and mix a green. Okay, so in another well, if you've got it, a little bit of blue, as I'm doing here now. I want you to take a little bit of the yellow and mix it with your blue. Okay. 
and we want to get quite a dark colour of green and all we're going to do now when you've got that little bit mixed you only need a little bit you don't need a lot we want to give the the hillside that we've got in the distance a bit of detail so we're going to put a little bit of green in and make it look like there's bushes or trees there okay mm -hmm. so all we're going to do is just drop with the brush a little bit of green here and there along the edge of the you, know, you might not see that on when you see that what i've done it's very hard to see because it's quite a dark color on a dark background yeah, kind of a little bit, Neil, just adds a bit of definition, doesn't it? Yeah, that's all we're trying to do, yeah. And as you get nearer to the edge, the trees would be bigger because you're actually coming inwards. So as you look in the distance, they're small, and as you're coming away, they go bigger. So it's perspective. And then you're going to do the same as you've done on your bottom half, just, re just copying roughly what you've put on the top. And like I said before, just drag your brush downwards slightly and that will just give it that sense in the water. And again, do the same on the other side. Now, while that's drying, you want to go back to your dark purple and just make a little bit more, but you only want a tiny bit, again, as, as strong colour as you can. So you might need to ease up on the water but put plenty of paint in mm -hmm. just so you get that dark colour again just keep working away so when we make the sky Neil that was using water and washes but everything we've mixed from there is just using the watercolour paint isn't it yeah yeah exactly yeah. we're just using strength of colour now that's what yeah. we're actually doing. Now, having mixed that little bit of purpley as best you can, just yeah. want to where our horizon line is now, on the edge of anything when it's by water, it will always be darker at the edge. Okay, so we're going to put a very thin dark line, but we can't do that until those trees have dried. Otherwise, right. it will merge. So we just need to have a few moments and let that paint start to dry off a little bit. So what we're going to try and do now, on our horizon line, which is quite wide on mine, I'm going to narrow it down a bit by putting a little dark edge along the line. Okay, so yeah. I'm just going to try with the tip, with the very tip of my brush. I've dipped it in. I'm just using the tip, I'm going to try and run a very thin line along the, along the bottom edge. And this is why I say this is a tricky bit. Because you probably can't see that on there, but my hand is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> and the same on the other side, so. So we'll just leave that for a few seconds just to try and let that dry off a little bit. We're going to put the sunlight on the water first right yeah and what we do how we do that we're going to take a clean brush brush dip it in your clean water just wet the paper like so and just gently work it and you will see that the paint will start to come away and just give us that Watching, you'll see it come in in a minute. Taking a bit of clean tissue, if it's not quite lifting off, you can just lift it off by using a clean tissue. Be careful not to disturb the trees. And there we go. Taking your ruler. <laughs> and this is probably the hardest bit to be honest you want to you know, think about this it needs to be level so you just need to make sure you've got a straight line horizontal so it looks straight in the water okay yeah. and I'm, I'm not the best at this but i'm giving it a go 
and I just draw a little line in there, like so. Can you see that? That's the yeah. bottom of the boat. Okay. Yeah. Now the boat has a mast, so what I do, I put my ruler through the middle, roughly the middle of where that boat will be, and I'm going to draw a very faint line, so just to give me an idea of where it is, up the picture and down the picture. Do you see that? It's a very, very faint line because you don't want that to show really. Okay. Yeah. Now, again, coming back to your purple, you can add a little bit more blue if you wish to make it a little bit darker or a little bit more red. Depends what colour of boat you want. But I try to keep to the colours that are in the picture. Okay. And I'm just going to draw the bottom of my boat. Because it's on water, we're going to reflect it. Okay, so now we do yeah. the same again. And this time we're going that way. Do you leave the little gap again yet? Yeah, just leave a tiny gap if you can. paint nail yeah there you go you see a little bit of practice a little bit of patience and you and this is anybody can do this it's just a matter of sitting yourself down and having a little practice and then having a go not to be frightened nothing to be frightened of and even if you make a mistake only you know the mistake nobody else will and every picture is a masterpiece Okay, are you getting the idea of the reflection there, yeah? Yeah. And again, because it's in the water, we pull from the bottom up, so it just gives it that little bit of distortion in the water. Right. Now, using the tip of your brush very, very finely, you need to run the tip of your brush as straight as you can, if you want to leave it to dry, you can do, and then use a ruler to go up the side of it. Um, but we'll try and do it freehand and see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Just just to prove that it can be done. So I'm just where I put my little pencil line very faintly, I'm just gonna go up. Like so. You see that? And I'm going to repeat it in the water. But when I do the water one, I'm not going to make a straight line. I'm going to make a little wiggly line as if it's reflecting in the water. Okay. Yeah, a bit like the sun reflection. Yeah, that's the one. So what we do, we just... And you don't do a full one. Yeah. Yeah. If you want, if you want a little bit more, you can do but we're trying to give a sense that the water's moving, so therefore the reflection will. So all we're going to do is just put a few, starting at the back small, working forward a little bit bigger. A few horizontal lines, okay? So just a little bit. Just so they give a sense of movement. Now, come back to the boat, it should be drying off a little bit. If you can make a little bit darker, you can then perhaps add a little bit of the green that you made 
and it will go a bit darker still. And all mm -hmm. we want to do now, see the bottom of the boat, just run a line across the bottom of the boat. Oh, like we did with the mountain? Yeah. And hopefully, we can get it dark enough. You see that? Yeah, so if you join them then, Neil, as the yeah, white I've line Yeah, I've just darkened it because the boat's in the water, so it would always be a bit, little bit darker at that point. Yeah? Yeah. And your boat in the water would also be a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to add a little bit more colour to it, just to give it a little bit more depth. Yeah. Put a little bit of a blue line along the top of the boat. Again, very gently, you don't have to do this, but it just gives it a finish. And you do the same in the water one. Just gently run that line across. And there we have our boat in the sunset. Mm -hmm.